Welcome everyone. So Microsoft hasn't really done anything about this yet. Uh, do check out the video if you're curious what this is about. Basically all the systems that are Windows 10, Windows 11 or Windows Server, they can be breached pretty easily. Uh, so this video is about actually this stupid annoying update prompt that you keep getting every time either you launch your computer, you shut it down, restart, you get this in your face. Sometimes it's more intrusive. It will be like in your face, update to Windows 10 or update to Windows 11. Um, but even if you click on stay on Windows 10 for now, it will come back again. It keeps coming back. It just doesn't want to go away. So in this video, I'll show you guys exactly how to get rid of this permanently and it will stop uh, basically annoying you to update to Windows 11. Uh, first thing you need to do is uh, check out the version that you have so click also on the search here click on about your pc you will know your version from windows specifications it will tell you your windows 10 pro and it will give you the version number so copy that you will need this version number and now you'll just open command prompt as an administrator so run as administrator Uh, for security reasons, I do not uh, run my account uh, as an administrator. So as a security precaution, guys, if you can, please set up your account as a standard user. So I always run my account as a standard user. It adds a little bit of security to it. So the commands that you need to run are these two commands. So first command would be this command. And if you get an error message for running the first command, it, that just probably means that you already have the key added to it. So don't worry about it if you get an error message. So I, I will post this in the um, description as well, because I don't think, or you can pause it if you want to type. I don't think anybody would want to type that. So copy that and in the command prompt that you have it open, um just paste it it says it should say operation command successful I, even if it says okay so the key already exists and error don't worry about it you probably already have the key you probably already had the uh, little hack already in place but your version changed and you have to do this again so this is why i said you need the version number so this so a specific to your version so for example if you're in 21 h1 or if you're on a different version for example 21 h2 you'll use this command so everything before this remains the same so just do this uh, copy that command and you still have notepad open hopefully and then here you will just paste your version numbers i think i was 22 uh, h2 so i'll just again i'll copy that again 22 h2 and i'll replace that with the version so that's it so for your specific version right here i just change that number so do whatever version you're on and just copy that and run that the command and it should say operation successful and my copy doesn't work sometimes so that is all it should say operation command successful and that's it uh after a reboot it will disappear that stupid annoying prompt it should disappear after but if i want i can up this should work as well for you guys gp update slash force i don't know if it'll actually disappear right away but i think you need to sign out or restart the system so that is all you need to do in terms of getting rid of this stupid annoying um screen here so i'm going to take a screenshot of this because that will be my thumbnail thanks a lot guys uh thanks for watching please do hit the like button please do subscribe much appreciated take care guys